Robert, how exciting is this, going to Canton, going to be inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame? You know, you play the game of football, you enjoy the game of football, you teach the game of football, but it was the, something way down deep in me that I always wanted this. And believe me, when that guy knocked on my door, something turned on in my body that been there for years, I guess, trying to come out. It is too exciting. You have to be in my shoes to realize how I feel about this. There's, there's, there's no words there. It's just, you just have to get up in the morning or the middle of the night and say, guess what? You're a Hall of Famer. <laughs> how much did Bum Phillips mean to you? I know what he meant to me as an individual. You guys, I was just on the periphery. You guys were being coached by this man. What did Bum Phillips mean to you? Bum meant to me, in so many ways, security, love, he understood it. He was a second father to me. And I don't let that out to a lot of people. You could go to Bum with anything and he would give you an honest answer. It may not be the answer that you want to hear. It may not be the answer that you want, but it would be an honest answer on anything that you have in life that you want to talk to him about. Will Bum be in the hall someday? Bum is going to the hall with me. Before Bum died, he um, sent me a belt buckle. And on the belt buckle, he said, I love you. And this is my way of taking Bum to the hall until he get to the hall. I will be wearing that belt buckle saying, I love you back, Bob. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Feeling. It gives me chills at that we talk about it. You know, Bob had a saying, every man get a man, and every good man get two. And today, all of us knows that, and we feel that, and we live by it. That's one of the philosophies he taught us. And so I'm going to give that to Bob Phillips. Every man get a man, and every, every good, good man, man get, get two. two. Boy, that is great. Let me ask you about this. Your first wife, you lost her during the last part of your career. In 84, 1984. In 1984, uh, I lost my wife, and I had an eight-year-old son, which is here with me in Houston today. And that's when I had to grow up. I had to make a decision in my life. I was at the end of my career, and some things had happened that I wasn't happy about. Uh, I had to go home. I had been Rick of the Year. I had been an All-American. I had been All-Pro. The one thing that was missing on my wife to draw is being an All-Pro father, an all-day daddy. I had to learn how to cook. I had to learn how to make a bed. I had to learn how to comb my hair. I had to learn how to nourish my, my son. And that's what I did. And from that, it carried me over into the school. I went to not being just a father to him, I went to being a teacher. I went back and started teaching school back in Mobile, and it helped me grow up so much. You've, you've had two careers. Had two careers. I'm retired for both of them. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. You're welcome. Oh, we're going to have fun in Canton. Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun in Canton. <laughs> uh, my